In this tutorial, we're going to create an embedded video, a video where the video file is embedded on the timeline in the Swift. But first, let's take a look at some of the advantages and disadvantages of using embedded video as opposed to loading an external video file, an FLV file or a 4V file. Embedded video supports older versions of the Flash Player. So, for example, if you want to support Flash Player 6, embedded video is the easiest way to do that. You only have to manage one file, the SWIFT. There's no external FLV file to load. You see the frames on the timeline. And this can make it very easy and intuitive to determine at which frames an overlay occurs. So, for example, this could be a button or a graphic or whatever. On the downside, the entire video has to download before playback starts. So this means that normally you'll only use fairly short videos when you're embedding. There's an absolute limit of 16,000 frames. There's a possibility of audio sync problems. The audio can get out of sync with the video. Document and video frame rates should match. So here at Modify Document, I've set this to 24 frames per second because I know that the video that I'm going to embed was shot at 24 frames per second. If I had this, say, at 12, and I was embedding a video that had been shot at 24 frames per second, the video would run at half speed. It would be slow-mo. I've also, by the way, set the dimensions to be the same as the dimensions of my video. External video supports streaming and live broadcast. Embedded video does not. It's easier and quicker with external video to substitute a different clip for the one you're playing. We'll see that in a future tutorial. There's no video length limit, no audio sync issues. You can use video player components in the Flash authoring environment, such as the video playback component. And this is a pre-built module that plays video, so that's very convenient and can save you a lot of work. There are no frame rate limitations. You can play FLV files of any frame rate, and it doesn't matter what the frame rate of your timeline is. You do have to manage two files, both the SWIFT and either an FLV or F4V, and generally it requires action script for timing overlays. So let's go ahead and create an embedded video. First, I'm going to create a new layer. I'll call that footage. Click in that first frame there. Go to File, Import, Import Video. The default is to load an external video, but I want to embed an FLV in the Swift. Notice that you can only embed an FLV. Browse. Here's the FLV. Open. And that's all I have to do here. Just go to Next. The symbol type, I could choose a movie clip or a graphic, but I'm just going to let it be an embedded video. Place an instance on the stage, yes. Expand the timeline if needed, yes. I will not include audio. Click Next. It summarizes my choices and click Finish. And there's my video and you can see it's on the timeline. Now if I want to create an overlay, I can just create a new layer, and I'll call that overlay. Now I'm going to go out to the point where I want to see my overlay, and this is just to get a visual impression of where in the frame I want to create my overlay. So I'll go out to about 335, I've already got my brush tool, and I will just draw a heart. Now right now, that heart is everywhere on the timeline, everywhere where there's video, but I can change that. So let me start by going out to the end, hold down the control key, and move the cursor in towards the overlay, and when you get that two-headed arrow cursor, just click and drag. 
and I'll just move that into about 340. And I can do the same thing at the beginning. Just hold down the control key, move the cursor. Now don't get this cursor. It has two arrows, but it also has those two lines in the middle. You want the one that's just two arrows, and then click and drag. And I'll move that to about 325. And now I've timed that overlay. So let's test that. I'll just go here, go to Control and Play. And you can see the overlay appears and it disappears. And that concludes this tutorial on Embedded Video.